the easiest choice sometimes isn't the easiest choice to make, especially when you've said categorically that you're never going to close schools. I think just the other day they threatened to sue a school in South London that went to close. But if we need any sort of re if a return to normality is on the cards, close skills will have to close, and then we just have to just figure out something in it. Again, I don't. I only have sympathy for the kids. I have to, you know, learn whatever they're learning in school in a cramped two bedroom apartment. Um, whilst you know in the background their parents are arguing over money because they don't know when the next meal is going to come or you know or the electricity is cut out like just crazy shit man so let's see what happens in it let's really see what happens it's not not the best solution at the moment um i think they've even got this uh, quote here that says we found that regardless of control measures simulated yeah this is probably to get things back to normal right we found that regardless of control measures simulated all nhs regions are projected to experience a subsequent wave of covid19 cases and deaths peaking in spring 2021 for london southeast and england and in summer 2021 for the rest of england in the absence of substantial vaccine rollout cases and hospitalization ICU admissions and deaths in 2021 make c those in 2020 that's bleak right the most stringent intervention scenario with tier three for england wide and schools closed during january and too many individuals vaccinated per week is the only scenario we considered which reduces the peak icu burden below the level seen during the first wave and that's what i said in the beginning you're going to need to close school for two weeks right at least or the majority of january and you're going to need to test i'm oh, sorry vaccinate more than two million people per week that those numbers are just wild in it again you're going to need up up to 90 percent people to get vaccinated it just seems like <laughs> i don't know how they're going to do it i really don't it's going to be a herculean event it's going to be a herculean effort for everybody to get this on to get this sorted and unfortunately i think we might have to come that we might be in a position where we might just have to all just say, hey, cool, the government fucked up, they made loads of mistakes, but we're going to have to step in and help them out, right? Like, we just might have to do that. We might just have to, like, you know, when, like, you're arguing with somebody or, like, a friend, but they've got, like, a birthday coming up or something, I don't know, whatever, right? And you just, you know what, for the sake of their special day, I'm going to put this to one side. It doesn't mean I, I agree or I'm condoning what they said or I'm sort of excusing their behavior, but I'm just going to, for the for the greater good, I'm going to put it to one side and just celebrate their special day. That's essentially what we're doing now at the moment. Or it's like, you know, when you don't ask someone for, you know, someone's struggling to carry something and you just step in and you help out, right? Even though that person, you don't particularly like them. <laughs> That's essentially what we're basically doing at the moment. We're not you're not kind of tapping them on the shoulder as they're struggling with a massive subwoof and saying hey do you need some help whilst we hear the bones in their back crunk crunching like you know rice krispies no instead we just go and help them out because i think that's the only way it's gonna it's gonna get solved i don't see how we can just sit back and with our arms crossed with our mask on hoping that the new government sort of work it out i just don't think that's gonna make any sort of sense long term that's just my opinion then we have um last bit of covid news and we move on we have this news regarding tier five so supposedly um there's another tier uh, coming soon at the moment the tier thing hasn't really worked that well in the uk for what i've seen i think we've basically kind of all agree that it was nice that they decided to um have this regionalized approach to dealing with covid because numbers in certain areas were higher than others but i think in terms of overall compliance and in terms of that whole idea of civic duty and in terms of the fact that we will just go through this together regardless of the, what's going on in different the regions it would have been advantageous for us to have all been under some level of tiered lockdown right on the same level and to it being been so for maybe the numbers to be yeah maybe that you could take the numbers as a median right you kind of collect all the numbers together and you sort of see what the average line is and then you decide whether or not we go up or down based on that especially when you see how badly um people in the north in places such as manchester were treated um you know vis-a-vis -vis how we were treated here in london with terms of how we were opened up and they weren't open up or they weren't lower to a certain tier blah 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 blah. i think it would have been a lot more f it would have been a fairer system to have just had us all in a tiered um you know in a in a tiered lockdown and some approach and then basically the onus would be on our local governments on us on our local officials our mayors to instruct the populace to be like hey be careful 
don't make it don't take unnecessary risks don't be stupid so that we can all kind of go down a level so we can kind of open up the economy i think that would have made more sense but again they keep pursuing pursuing these things more so because they don't want to um you know engage in another national lockdown which i completely understand i think it's bad pr for the toys in general and you know it's devastating for the economy and people as mental health right i've mentioned it prior but um, it seems like this is the only kind of thing that's going to be on the cards, especially at the moment with this whole 2 million per week vaccinations, which just seems ridiculous that they're going to be able to kind of carry that out considering how inept they've been with everything else that's come prior. So the only other thing they can do is resort back to adding another tier on top of the one we have already at the moment, which is just barn crazy but hey what can you do so this is from the guardian it says tier five england faces new possible COVID restrictions sources say um further coronavirus restrictions could be introduced in england akin to a tier five lockdown a government source has suggested as experts warn the current curbs might not be enough to shrink the pan epidemic tier four restrictions came into force in london and parts of southeast of england on 20th of december and have since been extended to a swath of the country from cambridge to sussex and parts of hampshire under these restrictions people have been told to stay at home with with household mixing banned outside of support bubbles although one person can meet up with another person outdoors with the incubation period of the virus lasting up to 14 days experts say the impact of the such measures in some areas might be expected to be seen in the coming days however an analysis and the spread of the new highly transmissible coronavirus variant by experts in the london school of hygiene and tropical medicine released this month warned that even in the whole of england even if the whole of england were placed under tier 4 restrictions of boxing day until the end of january their number would not fall below one do you hear what they're saying there even if we're all under the tightest restrictions we will still be f-u-c-k-e-d exclamation mark exclamation mark exclamation mark madness how do we get our salty position man anyway continues um, now it seems that there could be plans to introduce new restriction measures to try and keep the virus under control according to the mirror a whitehall source said that the tier 4 rules do not appear to be working and the government could introduce another level of tier 4 so it's like a tier 5 <laughs> while no details have been made released as to what the tier could look like or whether it could be called tier 5 one possibility is that the time measures could include closing the schools majority of people moving to education online and supposedly what i've seen online is that yeah obviously closing of schools and then the other thing that's going to be a real big um uh shock to a lot of people's systems is the introduction of a curfew I've read it's going to be at 10 p.m. So it's going to be a bit later than everyone else is doing at the moment. But it's going to be essentially a curfew put in place that's going to ban anyone from being outdoors. I think that's going to be the end of outdoor exercises, you know, uh, for the most part. But I'm assuming most things have to end by 10 a.m. or maybe 10 p.m., kind of mirroring what Spain did in, you know, in the beginning of the COVID where they sort of had these windows where certain groups of people could go out and could come in. Um, so it's going to be a real culture shock, man. Like I said, if ever there was a time... It's, it's going to be a real shock to the system in general, not culture shock, shock to the system. If ever there's a time for you to kind of fortify your mind, body and soul, this would be it. We're going to be in, we're going to be in this, in this shit for a long time, maybe another year, quite possibly another two years. Um, so don't, um kind of give yourself this false hope that somehow on january 1st things are going to be returned back to normal you're going to be able to go and do your thing that's not going to happen fortify your mind body and soul that we're going to be living under these stringent lockdown measures for a foreseeable future especially with the complete ineptitude of whatever government that you kind of reside in especially in the west we have no idea how to deal with this thing we're adding tears on top of tears on top of tears we have boris johnson you know with a sniper gun outside number 10 down the street making sure that everyone's inside their rooms or inside their homes it's a complete and absolute horror show but hopefully it works out and it hopefully that's the hope my hope is it does work out um i am um both pessimistic and optimistic hopefully things work out